Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and uh, this video is dedicated to this Kingsman pencil that can you claim or can you not claim the warranty on this pencil. So let's get started with the video. Many of my viewers were commenting that uh, they are having issues with this pencil and uh, they need to claim the warranty. As far as I know, I tried to claim the warranty. Although I don't have any issue but I was just trying that what response I'm gonna get so I tried to claim the warranty but there was not uh, much response. I tried their website and I mailed them but didn't get the right response or they weren't ready to refund or exchange the pencil or provide any service as Kingsman is fine pencil but they do not have many uh, service centers here. So I don't think claiming the warranty is the option for you guys. So what are the options that you have? So after you buy this pencil, there are few things you need to check before uh, you finalize that you are using this pencil or you are exchanging this pencil or returning this pencil. So if you are buying from Amazon or Flipkart, there are seven days replacement option and refund option that you can use. So that is the way out. So first thing first, let's start with the battery. Then you should turn it on by pressing this button and as soon as you press this button press it for like five seconds and it will turn on it will show you green light if it's red then it is low on battery and it's green then it is it have enough battery to work on so first connect it to your ipad and check the battery percentage uh, that how much does it have then write it and test the gestures like double click and single click double click for the home and single click for selecting or going to the home page Many of you guys are having issues in charging this pencil. So either you can buy the third gen which has wired and wireless both or if you are going for the second gen like I did because I do not want any port of any sort on my pencil. So uh, the only way of charging is you turn it on and then you place it on the iPad with the magnetic charge. It will charge for next five minutes then it will turn off. Then you have to again turn it off. Then you have to again turn it on and then place it there then it will charge for five minutes then it will turn off by itself you have to do this for like five to six times then it will charge at 100 percent and then you don't have to worry about that okay if you charge for like 100 percent then it's never going to be below 50 or 60 percent whenever you use the pencil you have to make the habit that when you are done with the pencil place it in the magnetic and it will charge for next five minutes so that you never face the issue of charging. 